Welcome to the Moist Meter. Today we're taking a look at Roadhouse. So, I never saw the original. I didn't know this was based on anything. So, I don't have that, like, icky sensation of a potential bad remake or anything looming over the film. I went into this with a fresh set of eyes and an open mind. I actually didn't even know this movie existed until I saw, like, a couple of Conor McGregor clips floating around on Twitter saying that he was actually pretty good as an actor. And I said... Dag nabbit, I can't believe that. I'm gonna have to take a peek at this so-called roadhouse. Actually, I retract that whole statement because I also just remembered that Jake Gyllenhaal fought in an actual, like, UFC octagon in between, like, a match or something, and I vaguely recall headlines about that. So I had these little, like, subliminal snippets of roadhouse's existence in my cerebral cortex somewhere tucked away, but I didn't, like, actually sit down and watch it till I saw people talking about it on Twitter. And... I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't really expect much going into this. It's got a ton of flaws, but I had a great time watching this. This is one of those movies that just doesn't really get made anymore. It's unapologetically over the top. It embraces its campy silliness, and it lands more often than it misses in that respect. Right away, I just love the simple premise of the movie. An elite fighter, damn near superhuman, is recruited as a bouncer for a bar called the roadhouse which is less of a bar and more of just like the wilderness and runescape because anything goes and it is cutthroat it's just like this pvp enabled zone where all the patrons go there just to fight and fuck well i mean there's there's no like sex in the movie or anything but like you, you know what i'm saying it's like a grimy place where people just throw down it's pugilistic combat out the wazoo while they listen to some music with a live band that's put in like this cage to keep them safe. <laughs> it's so silly and so aware that it's silly that I really appreciate it. It sets the tone immediately that this isn't a film that takes itself too seriously. The opening scene is Post Malone fighting someone in this like back alley brawl with a bunch of spectators around betting on the fight. Post Malone wins, Jake Gyllenhaal shows up, and he just wins by pure aura. He takes his shirt off, and Post Malone's like, I'm not fighting that guy. You know who that guy is? Nah, absolutely not. You guys can all suck my dick. You can literally blow my ass on the way out. I'm not fighting this guy. So Jake Gyllenhaal's character, his name is Dalton, shows up, and he's like king from One Punch Man. His engine starts roaring, and everyone's like, oh, shit. And he just wins and gets all the money just by being there and being scary. And then immediately after that, someone stabs him in the parking lot, and then Jake Gyllenhaal just looks at it, and he's like, hmm. Are you sure you want to do this? And the guy's like, ooh, and he runs away. And he's like, wait, you forgot your knife. And just leaves his leaves the knife in his stomach. So it's a it's a movie that's not realistic, obviously. This man got fucking stabbed, and it's no big deal to him. It's a, it's a he responds to getting stabbed the same way I respond when I accidentally bang my knee on my desk. And that's the attitude he carries for the film. He's very nonchalant. He's like very soft spoken, but menacing. He's an extremely good fighter. His backstory is he was a UFC fighter, but then something tragic happened. And now he is reeled down in the dumps. And he gets this opportunity with this bouncer position at a bar, just trying to be like this enforcer to keep the peace there because the owner of the bar really wants to keep it. And then it it opens up into this bigger plot where there's these corporate overlords and they're hiring all the riffraff to cause a ruckus over there so that way eventually she'll sell the bar to them so they can go through with their big corpo plans and Dalton is the lone man standing in the way. And he also helps train a couple other bouncers there to beat some ass as well. And that's pretty much in a nutshell the plot and Dalton just squares off against this organization and these criminals, he kills some people, he beats ass. The action is really fun. I thought the choreography was really exciting. I like the way it was shot for the most part. Towards the end, it does get a little excessive to a certain degree where they use the same like panning camera multiple times where it's like, maybe just let this one sit and let us like sit there and appreciate the fight for the fight. But I thought it was effective. Like it's much better than shaky cam that you usually get in action movies. So that was really nice, and it, it's pretty brutal. You see some faces getting caved in, it goes hard. And Dalton's not the only superhuman, everyone here has like a thousand HP, and even just stabbing them 50 times doesn't even take them down to half. Like everyone here is tanks, but Dalton will still break fingers, break arms, break necks, fucking breaking dicks off, like he, he does do substantial damage, but everyone heals immediately for the most part. 
until, of course, they're dead. So they go, like, either 100 to 0, or you'll see them over and over again. Like, there's a scene where a guy gets launched actually, like, 20 stories in the air, and he's still fine for the most part. He doesn't even have, like, any broken bones or anything. And that's okay, because it establishes immediately that this is the world we're living in for this film. And I like that. It's fun. Like, it, it is just a movie that is just pure fun. It, for example... The people that go into the bar and cause a problem, like breaking shit, aren't always the ones that are hired by the, the the corpo overlords or anything, the suits. Sometimes it's just normal vacationers. Like, there's a scene where one guy's like, this music sucks, boo, this music sucks. And then another guy stands up and is like, hey, be nice to them, the music's not bad. And they're like, why I oughta? It's like charging up a Donkey Kong punch at him. And then they start brawling, and then one guy, one of those guys pulls out a knife, like a Bowie knife. And this is just like a normal 30-year-old dude who's probably vacationing in the Keys with his wife and kids. And he pulls out the knife in response to this bar fight. And they don't take that seriously at all. And Jake Gyllenhaal, Dalton, uses this as a, like a teachable moment to his staff. He's like, all right, now listen. When he pulls that knife out, you step, you know, take a big step back and then sock him in the jaw. Give him a little punch in the nose. And he's like, okay, I'll go do that. When it's a fucking giant knife, like, that's life or death right there. And he's treating it like it's nothing. <laughs> it's so silly. I love it, though. Like, that's, that's the charm of the movie. They know it's stupid, I know it's stupid, we're all in on the joke, and we're laughing together. And they make it really clear that it's supposed to be over the top, because they bring in Conor McGregor in the second act here to be, like, the new lead villain, and they just tell him to go hog wild with it, like, dial the chaotic insanity up to 11 and just let it rip. And it works to a certain degree. So... You can tell he's not exactly a classically trained actor or anything, but this role obviously fits him because he's supposed to be him. But that comes with some drawbacks because there are often times here where it's just, it borders on cringe. For example, like when he first shows up, he's doing like a Vince McMahon walk for like every scene that he's in. He's like moving around like this when he's just walking. And it's just like, ooh, that's kind of that's kind of stinky to see. Like, you don't need to do that every time you're on screen. And some of his lines are pretty bad, which that extends throughout the entire film. There are some clunkers when it comes to the writing here from time to time. I love when it leans into the campiness, but there are a couple of moments where it tries to get a little more serious in tone, and it just does not work at all. It's It's at its best when it's letting you in on the stupidity of it that it knows that it's trying to bring to the forefront here with the campiness there's just a couple of narrative choices and a couple of dialogue moments that really don't hit but anyway back to connor overall i do think he does a pretty good job here because he does have a fighting background which means his fight scenes and he has a lot of fight scenes by the way they look like super convincing. They look really good. He's able to sell the performance of the fight extraordinarily well. So his fight scenes are the best in the movie by far when him and Dalton are squaring off. That shit is magic. I thought that was great stuff. Like, really good work. It's just when he's in a situation where he's supposed to be, like, this villain. It feels like he's emulating villains that he saw in old 90s action movies without really being able to convey it super well. So he's like constantly like swaying back and forth too. Like he has his own idol animations in this movie and it just feels a little too much sometimes, like misguided. But overall though, it, it was good. Like his performance was good. The movie was good. It's just good old fashioned, simple action movie with a lot of campiness to it. And... How could I not appreciate that? We don't get a whole lot of that these days, and it's refreshing to see, especially when it's done well like this. So anyway, plugging Roadhouse into the moist meter, I'm going to give this puppy a nice 75%. I had a good time with it. I think it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea because it is stupid, and there's a lot of people that aren't going to like the lack of realism in it. And the plot is pretty dumb, too. Even in the context of the film... Some of the things that happen with the plot are pretty fucking dumb. But it, that's not the focal point. The focal point is a lot of action. A lot, it's all hand-to-hand -hand combat. All good hand-to-hand -hand combat with a main character that's constantly cracking jokes in even the most tense of situations. Or rather, what's supposed to be tense situations that he immediately diffuses by 
clearly not giving a fuck and just taking the wind out of everyone else's sails, which is actually a really fun character trait from Dalton. I, that never got old, actually. It, it, it's not anything new. There's plenty of characters like that, but I guess Jake Gyllenhaal's performance here just really made it super fun to see. I, it's just a movie that is enjoyable and nothing deeper than that. So that's really about it. So yeah.